John Paul Rai. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and today I want to talk about Ayo Tillett and Incredibly Average. If you don't know who Incredibly Average is, he's got hands down the best YouTube channel on Johnny Depp and the case surrounding Johnny. His details are impeccable and he's really a professional about it. Now, he actually got into contact with Ayo Tillett, I think it was a few months ago, something like that, but the tweets are resurfacing. And what Brian did was he shared some DMs that Ayo Tillett sent him. Now, I've got some opinions about sharing personal DMs, but there are exceptions, and I think this is an exception. If you don't know who Ayo Tillett is, he's Amber Heard's friend who testified in the UK, obviously against Johnny, and he's got a lot to say. He's got a history of going blabbermouth on social media and saying a lot more than he should. But I'll let you guys see that right now. You can be the judge for yourself about his DMs. Here we go. Here you see it. This is actually a retweet of his own older tweet because it started to get around again, as he says. For clarity, since these are making the rounds again, this was February 24th, 2020. Io messaged me confessing he doesn't know the details of what happened during Giant Depp's relationship with Amber Heard. He then continued to threaten me with litigation. However, Io Tillett is the one who said, you know what, I know Johnny personally, and you guys on the internet who are defending Johnny don't know Johnny personally. And he said he's the one who knew all this stuff about what went on behind closed doors and things like that. But apparently, he didn't. Let's take a look. Brian, I get that you think you're onto something and you're defending someone you adore, but what you did with me was effed up and out of line. Everything I've ever said in this whole fiasco has been true. You don't, cannot, and will not know the full ins and outs of the situation. Hell, I don't even know them both intimately. This nasty mess is between them. Let it be between them. Let the courts decide. And I pray that whatever the truth is, it comes out and the right person gets their due. I have been subpoenaed, so I will testify to the truth as I saw it, no matter who the truth benefits or hurts, because that's my duty by law. Wow, if anything ever sounded so fake, that has got to be it. In the interim, the facts remain. I was a witness, not a party to this, and everything I swore to was true. I was everywhere I said I was, nowhere I said, make it right. I said I was, nowhere, I said I wasn't, and I've never been paid a dime by either of them. You're accusing me of all that shit publicly based on flawed, incomplete information available to you publicly was wrong. You'll never be able to undo that, but now that you have seen all the evidence that I've said I had all along, you can take it down and at least try to make it right. So take what down? His videos? His videos are spot on. His videos about what Amber said she did and how it's physically impossible based on physics is not an opinion. What he does is he makes these computer generations and some of them of a reenactment of what Amber said Johnny did and a lot of the times it works out not quite possible physically. So of course Io would want those videos taken down. This one's kind of interesting too. The lawyers tell me not to talk to you, but I insist that you are all human beings who ultimately want the truth and for honest, good people to prevail. Now that you have seen the facts and the errors in your reporting, if you don't want to be an honorable person who responds to new information and are in fact only in it for the followers or other motives, you will be served with a cease and desist and slander suit. This is not a joke. This is my life, most of which I have spent fighting for the underdog. Fight for what you believe in, Brian, but don't take out good people in the process because we know that Io Tillett is a good person. All right, there you have it. Now, obviously, these were private messages, personal messages, and some people seem to think that there's some kind of law or some kind of code of honor where these things can't be shared. Now, it's polite not to share them, and if you choose not to, that might be a good thing, but legally, and as far as the rules, you can share DMs. So you have to look at DMs as public information that only two people could read, because that's basically what they are. 
And I think some people have this idea that it's off limits to share them or something bad could happen to the person who shared it. It's not true. So in this case, I agree with Brian sharing these because the information is way too important to let go and only be kept between two people. So I'll till it. I'm happy that he let out this information and makes himself look silly, but you know, it's also kind of sad that he can't control himself and he lets these things out for his own sake. And I do appreciate that he said at one point it is a mess between both of them, which does apply Amber is part of making that mess. So, all right, it's like a little good thing. He, of course, says he's a good person and blames Brian for going against a good person. Well, you know, that's the thing. The way that Io places politics, it would seem like he's a good person because he fights for these rights for certain people and things like that. I'm not going to get into politics, but the point is the politics he plays are meant to make him look like a good person on the surface. But it just could be that his politics are negatively affecting some other people. So he just assumes he's a good person, which is not quite the case. And as far as Brian's videos being flawed, I've seen almost all of them. And I take it to be factual information. Now, I'm sure here and there a detail got corrected, Brian got something wrong, but the core of Brian's arguments are based on information that Amber and her friends, and of course, uh, I'll till it, puts out there. And what Brian does is he shows why that information is false or why that information doesn't make sense or at best how that information contradicts other information they put out there, which can't be lied about. When you put out something and then you contradict it in something else you put out, there's no way to look at that except factual. Just like when Io Tillett said, well, you Johnny fans don't know about the relationship like I do. And then he says, I don't know about the intimate details. That's a factual mistake. And Io also says, hey, Brian, why don't you keep making videos? Why did you stop? Well, the reason was Brian got pretty scared because apparently he got some threats because his videos on you know who were too good and they were too factual and they were too incriminating and they scared some people. So that's why he stopped. Well, it's one of the reasons at least. And to be honest, pretty much everything that needed to be said is out there. Now, Brian stopped uploading maybe about a year ago or eight months ago at this point. But honestly, the case is about something that happened in 2016. There's a lot of things in between then that came out that make Amber look bad, but the fact is the main facts of the case all happened around that time when Amber claimed Johnny abused her. So all we really, really need is that great evidence Brian put together and that great commentary that's very hard to dispute. So whether Brian continues or not doesn't actually matter so much as far as proving the point. If he continued, he'd be adding more and more onto his already correct points, but there's enough there to win the argument. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. Let's do some shout outs. Shout out to Heli. I see you here all the time. Thank you so much for the comments. Shout out to Humility First, who has been supporting here for four months as a member. Thank you so much. It is very appreciated. Shout out to Jay Lee, who has also been supporting here and commenting a very long time. Thank you very much. Shout out to Tia. I see you here all the time also. And one more shout out to Zach, who's been a great help recently around here. Thank you, Zach. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing Depth First Heard, pop culture, shout outs, stuff like that. And if you don't subscribe and you think about it and you still don't subscribe, well, I guess I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time. We're done.